Fathers, love everyone, and welcome to the Daily Devotional for September the 29th from Finders Keepers, Finders of Truth, Keepers of Faith. Today's quote, A man with God is always in the majority. That's John Knox. This one's entitled, Abandon Cathedrals. Payday is coming. It won't be by means of a prosperity gospel. It will be by a divine rebuke and purging of flesh-anointed, purpose-drunken, pulpiteers, false shepherds, false apostles, and false prophets. The Lord of the Church is beginning to downsize the contemporary Church. He will soon begin chasing out the money changers, cleaning out the leaven, and culling out the tares when the divine shaking begins. All those who glory in self behind the pulpit throne and on their performing stage will see their popular ministries become of no use, abandoned cathedrals in the eyes of those seeking the kingdom of God. Under God's sovereignty, the devil will see that they remain as burned out lamps in the kingdom of darkness applauded by those who freely choose to sit in darkness and the shadow of death, with tickled ears, hardened hearts, and blinded minds. The Lord shares His glory with no idolaters. The psalmist reminds us that the Lord has established His throne in the heavens, and His sovereignty rolls over all. He will take center stage with a view to an administration suitable to the fullness of the times, that is, the summing up of all things in Christ, things in the heavens and things upon the earth. The Lord will have first place in everything. I hope the devotional blesses you and strengthens you on your walk. I hope you have that personal relationship and not just sitting in a soon-to-be-abandoned cathedral. I'll post the scriptures to today's devotional here. Pause it, write them down, get out your Bible, and read them. And let them sink into your heart. Meditate on them with the Spirit. If you need a Bible, as always, email me. I will be happy to ship a Bible out to you, wherever you are. Don't forget to pray for the children, our fellow brothers and sisters all around the world, and those still lost in this darkness so the day too can come to the light before it's too late. May our Father bless you. May He keep you. May His grace shine upon you and bring you peace. I'll see you next time.